You all didn't have salmon uh, for breakfast or last night. But uh, thanks for being here today. Uh, Tag and I have a lot in common. We're both uh, nice, friendly beasts, uh, well cared for. Then our beautiful, pretty governor decided to go to the French Laundry restaurant and have a very expensive dinner with a bunch of lobbyists. He chose to break his own rules and prefer the lobbyists and the insiders over the people of this state. He sent a huge message, not only to Californians, but across the world. I wasn't Gavin Newsom's birthday, it was the lobbyist's birthday, which tells you all you need to know about where Gavin Newsom's priorities are. And that is with the insiders and the lobbyists. Well, you know, we need to make this state beautiful again. We need to make it affordable and livable. And that starts with recalling our pretty boy governor. I had to start my own businesses. I started my own businesses when I was 20 years old as a CPA. And I worked and hard, worked hard, studied hard, and scraped to get by, just like 99% of Californians who aren't Gavin Newsom. And it's that experience and that upbringing that gives me the toughness that we're going to need to fix this state. I'm not a pretty boy, although my wife thinks I'm okay. Make no mistake, it's going to take big, beastly changes to get this job done. And that's why the bear is here today. Let me tell you, I'm a beast when it comes to corruption, waste, and inefficiency. And that's what we have in spades in Sacramento. My ambition is to fix this state. Make it affordable and livable for people. This is what I dedicated my life to. This election's gonna come down, it's a long time, we're a few months left, but it's gonna come down to discussing the issues and choosing the beauty or the beast. We've seen what the beauty has done to California. I think it's time to unleash the beast. Yes, sir. Mr. Cox, uh, given the Democratic supermajority in Sacramento, how do you plan to enact your agenda? You know, I'll do what Ronald Reagan did. I'll, I'll, I'll try to give common sense solutions. The first day in office, I'm going to call a special session to talk about housing. That's my business. I build and manage apartments for a living. Uh, I know what it takes to build at a lower cost, and I'm going to propose a package of changes. If the legislature insists on keeping the cost of housing so outrageously high, I'll go around them and I'll talk to the people directly and, and, and get them on my side. And, and they'll force the changes. The people know what's going on. They know that, that houses and, and rents are unaffordable in this state. And we can't keep doing this because businesses are moving out and people are moving out for that reason. So, you know, they also know that we have to deal with home, homelessness in a better way. Aren't you concerned that you, right out of the gate, upset a lot of people needlessly in your house? Listen, nobody... <laughs> I don't live under the perception that everybody's going to agree with everything I do. I'm an animal lover. I, I believe in taking care of animals. Uh, God gave them to us to enjoy this paradise of an earth. Uh, I certainly don't want to hurt an animal. And, and this animal you know, has not been hurt. It's been a TV series. It's been a, the NFL used it at a, at a halftime presentation. It, this feels a little Teddy Roosevelt-esque, only Teddy wouldn't have had the electric fence <laughs> at all. By the way, it's not electrified. So what is... Tell the bear that. <laughs> but he thinks it is, so go ahead. My question is, how long does the bear stick around? Because there are some who are saying maybe this is... At what point does this become a distraction from the issues? Because i got to be honest, we're all watching the bear right now. And at some point, I, who's listening to the message when... Well, it's interesting. He's here. They make headlines all over the country, and all over the world. But you know what they did, though? They, they talked about the bear, but they also talked about the fact that it's a beauty versus a beast. Well, I guess I, I'm not going to apologize for having to use attention-getting devices. I mean, I, I'm not a, a celebrity. I, I haven't been on a reality TV show for, you know, years. You know, I, I, I haven't been in politics forever, but, you know, 
get past that. We've got to get past name recognition as the, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the qualification for serving a public office. Okay. Mr. Cox, uh, three years ago, uh, you uh, beat out Travis Allen for the President Trump's endorsement for governor. Uh, uh, several things have happened since then. Uh, do you, for the record, right now, can you say that Joe Biden was legitimately elected president of the United States right now? Yes. And, you know, I think the elections, you know, were legitimate and he was elected. But the point is, we have to focus on California issues. This is not about the partisan battles of the past, millions of people, and we're going to move on. What do you there. say to the, re to the California Republicans who still believe that the election was stolen? We're going to move past, and we've got to solve the problems of California, I think. I think that's the most important thing that I'm here to talk about today. Let's let's get away from bitter partisanship. You know, this country is divided, no question. Let's move on. Let's talk about the problems of the here and now, about getting our kids' education, about getting them affordable housing, about getting homeless people the help they need. What was your reaction to the January 6th insurrection? I disagree with it. <laughs> Along with millions of other people. Yes, okay. I have 10,000 signatures from the state of the light. Have a prayer for your yeah. campaign. Hacks, you don't need a prayer for your campaign. Hacks, you don't need a prayer for your campaign. Nobody else is carrying a wild hat on their campaign. There's a lot of people that are in the I think there's a whole lot of people that want a whole lot of change in this state. And, you know, the mayor obviously is a, a symbol of uh, the beastly changes, and it's, the message is getting out. Who can go beastly without a bear? I'm a Republican too, Cox! But you don't need a bear for your campaign! If you love animals, let him free! I'm, I'm, I'm an outsider. I'm not part of the establishment. Uh, and, and that's evident. But I truly want to solve these problems, and I think most Californians do. At least the ones that aren't employed by lobby. Thank you very much. All right, thank you guys very much.